has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Okay, guys, we, as you could tell, we're playing uh, Darkest Dungeon. Um, it's pretty much impromptu. Uh, uh, content I'm kind of making here because I kind of messed up a recording and now I have to go and play a game a little bit over again kind of sucks uh, it was Citizens Earth I was actually gonna get my part 3 out and I the recording did kind of failed on me so there is that so let's actually go and actually play 30 minutes of this game I have a save here we're not gonna use that because it, I will tell you right now I highly cheated on that one um, but I understand the basics of this game. I'm not too good at it, but gestures are OP, by the way. Um, let's go and just call it D-Day. Will it let me? All right. It will. So let's start this other D-Day. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Alright, as you can see here, this is actually the ba dungeon kind of crawling part of the game. Um, so what you gotta do when you're in like little rooms, you click on here and Greetings it will like form lanes. a connection almost. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. And I pretty much just walk forward. And hopefully we don't run into anybody, just but this technically this is tutorial, so we're gonna run into people, so. Hear of your arrival. The game never tells you that um, when you um, walk on places you cleared, because you see how this is dark, you use more torches um, lighting the dark areas. But once you actually have it cleared, you only burn one torch each, each panel. 
So it, it, the game never tells you that, by the way. And there we go. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Well struck. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. At least it lets us go first, and we actually have an advantage because we surprised them. I believe that's not always a set in stone. Sometimes you can't surprise them in the beginning of the tutorial battles, but this is actually going to be nice. Hmm. What's his health at? His health is at 19. 35, his dodge, his speed sucks, but... I already knew that, by the way. Um. You know what? Nah, I can't do that. Uh. Actually, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Until I missed. Totally a bad idea. See, he does 7 to 3 damage. I mean, 13 damage. Why did I say 7 to 3? Um. Not like I have a choice. Ooh, that was a nice swing. Actually, what is my, um, uh, known cheat? Okay. Quick reflexes, that's good. Done resistance, that's also good. What about you? Huh, I think they always start you with, with these skills. Okay. Seem like basic. Okay. The the beast, That's good. The greater the glory. As the and there we go. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. And we're going to open this chest and hopefully it's not wait. How's your trap skill? 20, 0, okay. Let's try it. Eh, whatever. Um, normally you want to open chest with keys, by the way. Never explains that to you either. Nice, alright. Armor upgrade cost 20% less. Wow, that ain't bad. Okay, not bad. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. So what we want to do is go in here. To them. Um, cause these guys Women can die at any men, time. Soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. I'm not sure if there's a safety on this, um, game or not, because if you don't upgrade your carriage, your stagecoach, um, they, they only produce two. You need four to go on a dungeon to advance a day. Um, that could actually be kind of a issue. At least I see it as an issue, but... You probably want to go and buy that, and buy another one. Great heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Oh, that's kind of bad. Stress resist. And I know these are random. Anything in the stagecoach is kind of random. Except they always will start you with the... I was going to call it a plague knight. But it's called a plague doctor. And they'll always start you with the healer too. But what the stats they hold within them are kind of random. I really think the healers or vessels... 
Um, don't really need speed that much. So I'm like, eh, speed's not really my thing on this guy. Um, actually, they're better when you do going last because they can heal all the damage that was done. Or some of the damage that was done. Sometimes you do want them to go fast because you want to heal someone that's critically injured. But I feel that's not needed as long as you keep up the heal. Plague Knight, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with them. I'm kind of at Most odds. Up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. I'm kind of in like odds on how to use a Plague Knight right. I mean, he's good for stunning the back row, which could be good because there's sometimes some dangerous shit that hangs out in the back. But, yeah, anyway, let's get into a dungeon. Since we are thrusted in pawn us to actually go into a dun dungeon here. Your work begins. Mm, yeah, so he's going to be in the first row. Second, third, and fourth. There you go. The cost hey. of preparedness measured now in gold, later in blood. Okay, I gotta actually take a look here. Alright, so we've got 3,000 um, that we're gonna be getting. That's gonna cover our provisions that we're gonna dish out here. So, what I wanna do is probably... Four... Two... One... One... Two... And that should do it. Yes, that's pretty much what I want to have. Let's actually go. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? All right, so let's go this way first. This is why we have shovels, by the way. These things are nasty if you don't have shovels. Hopefully there's no more than two, or I'll be kind of sad. Um, he, On a good day, we can kill them in one shot with what I have. No, I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. You know why? I better have it in striking distance with the rest of my characters. Surges as the enemy crumbles. This guy is actually more of a pain than this guy, so I might actually go. For the, yeah. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And charge. we're done. Give them no quarter. So let's go over here. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So actually, there is a trick here. You see this thing? I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna wait. Ouch. I'm going to go backwards now. Which is not always a good thing to do because going backwards can actually put stress. For some reason. I just wanted to use a little bit more of my um, torch so I can actually make this more worth it. Because as I was saying before, as you cover ground that you've already been in, you only burn one torch. And you burn like six or seven to unveil a new one. Or something around there. I don't know if it's set in stone or not, but... Ah, damn it, they were surprised. 
That actually uh, rearranges my uh, characters sometimes. Kind of sucks. How bad does it affect him? Not so much. How bad it affects him? Not much. All right, so it's not bad. Um, I'm going to make the most of it. I'm not going to worry about healing. You know what? I'll go with the normal attack. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Oh man, fear's the real killer in this game, by the way. I'm not liking the damage. Um, let's test our luck. Oh, that is some shitty luck. Oh, uh, well, actually, no, it's dead next turn. We don't have to worry about it now. All oh, the crits are real. How quickly the tide turns. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. So what we want to do is we're going to look at this. We're going to take this key. And we get the extra stuff. Treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Sometimes it gives you extra stuff um, from a chest, and sometimes it doesn't work at all. Because sometimes it does, it's not even booby-trapped, and sometimes it's just booby-trapped and it allows you to get past it. At least that's what I think it does. Hmm. Definitely have a fight coming up. Oh, this is going to be easy as cake. And I forgot to rearrange my party, which kind of, kind of was dumb, but whatever. Be gone, fiend! A trifling victory. So what we're gonna actually do is rearrange my party here, and now it's back to normal. I think, yeah, it is. I normally don't read bookcases uh, because they're kind of bad. I mean, you can run into good things. Sometimes they give you uh, good uh, traits, and sometimes, and uh, more often than not, they kind of give you bad traits. So I don't really want to even deal with them. And I'll take a look in here. Not a bad deal. Uh, you want to burn that brighter? You really want to keep your light uh, up because you can really get burned if not. Because lower the light, um, less bonuses you have, and also the enemies get harder. But when they get harder, you actually get better payouts. But I don't think it's worth it right now. Ouch. The match is struck. A blazing star is born.
Well, that means we have to backtrack. One thing I hate about this game, and it's a good game, don't get me wrong, backtracking. Very slow. I wish you can automate it, like, you know. It's just, I wish you could actually get the jump here a lot faster. Maybe that's me, I don't know. I just don't like backtracking, walking through all this. Um, It does randomly generate mobs sometimes that could surprise you. I just wish it did it automatically if you already walked the area. Like, if if nothing shows up on that area, it could just jump you over and do the time and all that, the lighting adjustments and everything, automatically. Instead of making you walk all the way through it. Because each one would be four, so I'm losing four light each each time. I don't understand why I can't just do four light and take me over and it normally will automatically generate it once you go in over here so if there was a surprise here like uh, if there was an ambush or an enemy that will pop up normally when I step in like this it will spawn it or not I wish it just rolled for that and if it doesn't happen it can automatically jump me to the other room that is one of my critiques right there about this game but it's a fun game just, it's no fun walking back in the areas you already have, and there's nothing to fight, there's nothing to really do. Ouch. Curious is the trap maker's art, his efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Now we're going to do that thing we did before again. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh, again? I just have horrible luck. Hmm. I think I'm better off just fighting this. Nice. Going too hot. Actually, she's been dealing out some good damage. Yeah, I probably don't want to do that right now. And there we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Wait, why did I even do that? Holy crap, I'm screwing up. There we go. Be nice if my healer can actually get some healing done. Yar, is that, and let's go to the last room. All right, finally, some in my corner here. 
So... Kind of want to go and attack this guy. Nice. Beautiful. And everyone is a lot happier. I kind of actually want to do this. That's actually good damage. We're doing really good. May we find victory. I don't even think that does seven. Oh, it does seven on a good day. Actually, it can do up to eight damage. Prefer to ensure the kill if I hit. All right, there we go. And that was 14 damage. That was a crit, I guess. So it was over the damage that it was projected. Even though this guy's kind of scary, I consider this guy a, a little more scary because you can actually raise your fear in a hurry. Um, and he's also kind of fast, and I want to actually paralyze him. Figured he was going to go next. How much do you have? He's pretty much dead next turn. Actually, let's worry about this guy. Aw. Yeah, that's probably the best. There we go. Stunning blow. And he resists it. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Let's hopefully we get a good swing on a good day. Oh, it says fifteen now. All right, I don't know why. Okay. This expedition at least promises success. Why not? All right, let's leave this area. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. And that's pretty much the gist of the game. It's pretty much that. Um, I only want to play for 30 minutes. I won't lie, I was desperate to actually get content for my channel because I kind of uh, wasn't able to get a, make a video. It went down the, the crapper. Caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. All right, anyway, this is pretty much the rundown of things that happen because eventually you're going to have multiple people. Things are going to happen in town. Uh, like right now, it's telling you the tavern unlocked, the abbey unlocked. You pretty much don't want to deal with these too much. You don't even want to upgrade Fresh them. You don't even touch them. Cards and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. The brothels are more expensive. The easier one you probably want to upgrade first are the bar. Um, that would actually reduce stress. And I might actually want to go and do that. Oh yeah, he can't. It's still kind of expensive. Hmm. You know what? I'm willing to do this. With enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Uh, since it's cheaper now, we can actually go and do that. And same over here, I can actually the go and... The webs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. It just got that, didn't it? Yeah, it did. And this guy, our caretaker, is an asshole.
How much does this cost? Actually, she doesn't need it. He needs it, and he kind of needs it badly, too. So that's about the game, anyway. So what I'm going to say is like, comment, and subscribe, and see you later, guys, and bye.